Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys star C.D. Lamb sends six-word message amid holdout. C.D. Lamb may not be in training camp with the Dallas Cowboys, but the star pass catcher is still putting in work. Lamb has been working out in Houston amid his holdout, per Jane Slater of NFL Network. Slater also reported a message from Lamb about what he's looking for on his next contract. C.D. Lamb on his contract, it just has to make sense, according to a source informed. I'm told he's 195 to 196 pounds, bigger, faster, and more explosive than previous years. I'm told he had a two-hour workout and continues to fine-tune the details of his game, Slater said. Lamb finished last season with a league-high 135 receptions for 1,749 yards and 12 touchdowns. He wants to be compensated like a top receiver in the league after watching contracts at his position skyrocket around the NFL this offseason. Minnesota Vikings star Justin Jefferson, Miami Dolphins pass catcher Jalen Waddell and Detroit Lions standout Amonare St. Brown recently signed big-money deals, ushering in a new era of lucrative receiver contracts. Lamb was a first-round pick in 2020 and is heading into the final year of his rookie contract. He's due to make $17.9 million on his fifth-year option. The contract talks with Lamb have not been a total non-starter. The sides have talked, but clearly haven't got close to what he thinks he deserves. Cowboys Vice President Stephen Jones said on Thursday, July 25, that both Lamb and defensive superstar Micah Parsons are eyeing record-setting deals. Both of them, rightfully so, believe they should be the highest-paid non-quarterback in the league, Jones said. Totally respect that. So very difficult situations that we're trying to work through with them. If Lamb is eyeing that number, it would have to surpass Jefferson, who is earning $35 million a year. Spotrack's market value for Lamb is a four-year deal worth $136 million. That put him around $34 million per season, on par with the top receivers in the league, but not the top. Sitting out of training camp is hitting Lamb in the wallet. He can be fined up to $40,000 per day for skipping camp. The Cowboys have a variety of big contracts to figure out. Lamb, Parsons, and quarterback Dak Prescott are all priorities for the team. Prescott will be 31 next season and is coming off a Pro Bowl year. Last season, he passed for 4,516 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. The Cowboys feel Prescott can lead them to a Super Bowl but have yet to commit to him beyond this season. Despite that, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones made it clear to the media on Thursday that he believes Prescott will be with the Cowboys beyond this season. Do I think this will be, Dax, his last year with Cowboys? No, Jones said. Am I being psychotic relative to my mirror? No. Prescott's tenure in Dallas has featured a lot of winning, with the Cowboys reeling off three consecutive 12-win seasons. However, playoff success has been hard to come by for Prescott and the Cowboys. Still, he may be in line for a contract that resets the quarterback market, per Diana Rossini of The Athletic. The Dallas Cowboys are working hard to get Dak Prescott's deal done. Prescott could be the first quarterback to break the $60 million per year barrier, Rossini said on July 24. The Cowboys open the regular season on September 8 against the Cleveland Browns. Cowboys Brass paints bleak picture regarding future of Big Three. Meeting with reporters on Thursday, the Dallas Cowboys front office brass, including owner Jerry Jones, painted a bleak picture regarding the future of stars Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb and Micah Parsons in Arlington. On the topic of the team's star quarterback, Jones sounded almost defeated. In my life, there have been a lot of things I wanted but I couldn't get because I couldn't afford it, Jones said via the Cowboys. Have I learned with that in 80-something years? I have. And life does go on. That's an ominous response, to say the least, 
but paired with Prescott saying earlier in the day that leaving the Cowboys might become his reality despite his desire to stay, the situation seems even more dire. It gets worse. Stephen Jones, the team's COO, cried poor, claiming it wasn't easy to lock up the team's best three players. He seemed to lament the fact that both Lamb and Parsons are seeking to be the highest-paid non-QBS in the NFL while comparing the Cowboys' situation to the Minnesota Vikings, who recently inked wide-out Justin Jefferson to a historic $140 million extension. They're not paying a quarterback. They're not paying anyone on their roster at this point, Jones said. So it's easier for them to stretch a little more. In addition, Papa Jones said extensions for Prescott and company could account for 70% of the team's payroll. While this isn't remotely true, it could be the first of many excuses from the Cowboys' side should one or all slip through their fingers. If Lamb and Parsons get the paydays they seek, they would each average roughly $35 million annually. In addition to what a Prescott contract might look like, hovering over $50 million a season, the three could take up nearly half of the Cowboys' cap space, $120 million, given that the 2024 maximum is $255 million. Both owner and COO seemed perplexed by the idea that the Cowboys might have to pay their top players top money. It's either that or they're playing dumb, which might be the company line. Prescott and Lamb are potentially eligible to hit the free agent market next offseason, with Parsons following in 2026. Thus, the Cowboys have no one to blame but themselves for the mess that lies before them. Had Dallas struck earlier and attempted to lock up one, if not all three, before this point, the franchise wouldn't have to worry so much about handing out such lucrative contracts. Now, its tardiness will likely force it to set the market at three different positions or risk losing its stars. Jerry Jones doesn't believe this will be Dak Prescott's final year with Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, who have won 12 games in each of the last three seasons, seem a bit chastened these days, and it's easy to figure out why. Arguably their three best players, pass rusher Micah Parsons, wide receiver C.D. Lamb and quarterback Dak Prescott, are due for contract extensions, and none of them seem particularly close to getting one. There has been speculation that the Cowboys will have Prescott play out the final year of his contract, then let him hit free agency in 2025, which means this could be his last season with them. But owner Jerry Jones said he isn't thinking that way, per Todd Archer. Statistically, Prescott had an outstanding year in 2023, and he even led the NFL with 36 touchdown passes while dramatically cutting down on his interception rate. While he was a leading MVP candidate for a brief period of time late last season, he did his usual shrinking act once the playoffs started, resulting in Dallas getting blown out in the wildcard round by the upstart Green Bay Packers. The commonly accepted definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again but expecting different results, and that could be the best argument for the Cowboys moving on from Prescott after this season. But of course, the question would be how and where they would find another legitimate franchise QB afterward. Some have been wondering if backup Trey Lance, whom they acquired in a trade with the San Francisco 49ers last August, could be a candidate, but for now, they will attempt to do some real damage in the playoffs with Prescott under center. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Dak Prescott? Leave your opinion in the comments.